Hey guys, Stolos from KFUnitLoss.com, and this is the first match from the UTL. We've got in the bottom left position, we've got Jay Hammer, who I believe is from the, or who is representing the University of Southampton as the Blue Protoss. And up the top right, we've got Dzinski, who's the Red Terran, and he's representing the uh, Open University. And the tournament is sponsored by CynicalBrit.com, the highly talented Mr. Mr. Biscuit, so check that out. Mm, check that out, definitely go and check that out. He stumped up the cash. Uh, without the cash, I don't think we'd have the uh, the exposure that this tournament's getting. So, uh, yeah, definitely check out cynicalbrit.com. Oh, he's got a nice hat as well. Might nice get hat. me a top hat one day. <laughs> Reminds me of Slash. <laughs> <laughs> You're loving it, son. You're absolutely loving it. So yeah, we're on Zalnaga Cabins, and uh, I think we've done a few, uh, well, we've done a few casts with Dzinski before. We don't know anything about Jayhammer, or I'm now going to be calling the Jackhammer. It's got to be Jackhammer, tell me. Tell it me it be. is. It it's got to be. be. Unless it's some, no, no, it, it can't be anything else. I can't think of anything else that you'd have Hammer in. Well, MC Hammer, but there's no MC. <laughs> you can't touch this. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, my, my, my. I can't touch this. So he's, uh, he's slapped down his gateway, he's got his pile on up and operating, loving it, loving it large. The barracks has gone down for Tzinski, he's not gone for a, he hasn't opted for a wall in, which really against Protoss doesn't, doesn't really matter. If it was Zerg and didn't have a wall in, I'd be, I'd be running across the interwebs and giving him a slap. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's important. Let's just, let's just say important. Let's not overplay it, it is important. But Jay Hammer's doing well with the probe it. micro there. His uh, mm. shields have gone down. But he's just dancing around, letting his shields regenerate, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm 100%. Oh, he's going back in, son. He's going to smack that SCV. Oh, well, you know it. <laughs> Give him a little, little bit of a bitch slap. The SCV's jumped into the gas to hide. You can't hide in the gas, son. You cannot hide in the gas. First Give Marines a bit of a on the way. Particle beam tickle. He's <laughs> particle beam tickle. <laughs> <Goody, goody, goody. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's this? A gas steal. Filthy gift. He's robbed the gas in his way, Jackhammer. He's oh, away, the Jayhammer. <laughs> what is Dzinski making of this? Well, we just don't know. We know his orbital command's coming and we know his marines are running over and he's not really bothered about the gas. What's he doing? He's just making sure the probe's not coming back, is he? Or he just doesn't yeah. care. No, he's realised now. He's off to go and drill the gas. He's got on the oh. gas there. Bad times. Maybe he was microing around his SCV. Although he has got quite a lot of rally points set up for the lad on the patrol. Yeah, I, d I think... Cybernetics calls online as well for uh, Jayhammer. I keep wanting to call him Jackhammer. Jackhammer. <laughs> I think we should just stick with Jackhammer. I think he'd appreciate it. I think he would. I think he would appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that Zelnega watchtower with his, uh, his scouting probe. Maybe he could have just left it up to the uh, natural of Dzinski, checking on any kind of expansion. I always prefer it when they take the watchtower, though. You, you get... See, when the expansion goes down, it's nice, but... Well, it's not really, I mean, he could go for both, couldn't he? I mean, yeah. Dzinski's going for uh, concussive showers now, and he's got a first marauder and a second marauder's on the way. It looks like he's going to move down and try and apply some early pressure because he knows he knows there's only one zealot, and there's now a stalker on the way. Warpgate's being chrono boosted as well. That SCV needs to get the hell out of there because he's going to get killed. And I think that probe, the Zalnaga Tower, has just been smashed. Oh. I just caught that. Although he's still left the gas up, though. The assimilator. I guess it really doesn't matter. You've got an idle SCV there, Dzinski. Go on, son, move him, good lad. Get him on there. <laughs> Get him on there. <laughs> Supply depot construction. Loving every minute of it. Two more Thing gateways is, going down, so we're going to have a, a three gate expand off uh, J Hammer. Yeah, looks like it's going to be interesting to see whether Dzinski actually goes in. Dzinski? Dzinski? <laughs> whether the Red Terran <laughs> actually goes into Jack Hammer's base, whether he just sticks around the front and just makes sure he can't expand and just, you know, generally holds the lad in. Maybe he's going to wait for Stimpak, although he's moving down now, Jay Hammer is. He's going to get caught there, he's going to lose that Zealot. He could, I think he's going to kill a Marauder, he's going to definitely lose the Zealot. A little bit of Marauder yeah. Micro there. I, I do yeah. like that though, he knew that he was going to lose that Zealot, so he didn't try and pull back, he made, you know, he made him trade. I know, but he's definitely coming off worse now, he's going to lose... Oh, come on, you need to get that, yeah, love it, get that grenades off on the, uh, get the slow off on the Stalker, oh, love it, nice one. He should push in on that Zealot now, he should be able to take the Zealot. Go on, what are you doing? Go on, Tzinski, do him, do him. Oh, <laughs> We're not biased or anything, but, you know, we should have pushed in and killed him. <laughs> no, you don't need to lose that Marauder, that'd be needless. So, Ooh, he's definitely come off better there. But, you know, much better micro there than Jayhammer. Yeah, that Although was, he's that gonna was have a problem now. Marauder was too close for comfort, really. Yeah, he's and gonna, now he's those gonna lose. are in trouble. Yeah, he's going to lose them, definitely going to lose them now. 
It's time for them boys to leave. <laughs> oh no, he should have carried on. He should have carried on with the Stalker, because the Stalker, I think the Stalker, it does outmove the uh, Marines, doesn't it? I think it does. Yeah, I think it Yeah, 2.95 on a Stalker and, uh, yeah, 2.25. So he could have he could have carried on chasing that Marauder up the map and killed him, and then retreated in time before the Marines got there. And even if the Marines did, he could have still pushed back. So he's dropping down his expansion now, Jay Hammer is. The gas is still, the simulator is still online in Dzinski's base. He must, have, uh, he, must, he must have tickled his fancy, like you said, boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kind of thing he wants in his life. Come on, Dzinski, come on, do something with him. Where is Don't he? Sat well, there. He's oh, yeah, by the, uh, by the supply depot. depot. He's got some mineral in his hand as well. It's his payday, it's his paycheck. He's taking some time off. Finally killing the assimilator now. He's finally had enough. He's like, look, I'm sick of this assimilator. He's been sitting in my base for like eight game minutes now. It's time for it to leave. His expansion's <laughs> moving over. It's already upgraded to Orbital Command. And um, J Hammer just looks to be attempting to consolidate his expansion as well. At the moment, Dzinski's in the lead. I mean, he has the. Uh, he has the. Uh, well, he's got. Well, no, the army values are in uh, J Hammer's advantage now. I was about to say he had the bigger and better army, but he doesn't. But he has the more secure expansion, and his expansion's kind of up and running yet. He just needs to get some SCVs over there, and he's starting to transfer now. Yeah, I think he might. Has he? No, he hasn't transferred too many off the main. He's still got a couple of hard left CVs, and I think he's just concentrating on getting that expansion going, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, I mean, I mean, we've seen Dzinski play before, and actually, I seem to remember the last time we saw him play, um, he was a lot. When I say he was a lot better at keeping his units doing stuff, I think there's there's probably a lot more riding on this game. It's a lot easier to sort of. Oh, definitely. Tournament situations, they, they yeah. you got to deal with the pressure, ain't you? That's just comes part and parcel with it. I mean, he's got three bunkers down, so he's pretty secure. There's no way he's going to be able to lose that expansion anytime soon, and I guess the income rate is absolutely ridiculous because of all their mules. It's nearly 1,700 to 900 mineral income, which is sickening. Although, J Hammer does have double the gas income. But sentries do cost a shed load of gas. <laughs> and actually, J Hammer's he's, he's doing something that a lot of Protoss do, and he's leaving his chrono boost. He could be boosting absolutely anything and everything, especially the uh, drone output on that new drone, yeah, probe yeah. output on that expansion. But again, I've, I think it's just one of those tournament nerves things. It's easy to forget the small things when you got a lot riding on the game. Well, you know, it's, it's the same as the energy on the orbital command as well. I was going to rant at uh, Dzinski for not using it, and then all of a sudden he just threw down a load of mules. <laughs> so I let him off. So the observer for Jayham is going to move in, and he's going to see the expansions up and running. He's going to see a ton of marines and marauders, and he looks like he's going. Well, he's definitely going for the robotics base. So he's going to have some colossus out at some point. Um, yeah, so at the moment it's kind of like a waiting game. It's it's well they're playing the macro game. Who can get the the biggest, the baddest army before the before the shit hits the fan, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm surprised that we've only just seen a starport go down from Dzinski, but he has got a he's going to do the tech swap. Army, yeah. so. he's going to do the tech swap now and uh, start pumping out medevacs. He's definitely going marine marauder medevac. Yeah, um, there we go. First Colossus is almost half built now. He's going for extended thermal lands, as you would imagine, because why would you have the Colossus with that external thermal? <laughs> we just don't know. So Dzinski scanned Jayhammer. He, he can see the the extent of his forces in that. He's got down the he's got the expansion locked down. Looking at the probe and the SCV count, it's still in um, Dzinski's favour by a couple of well by five, which is um, obviously when the mules come down as, as well, it just gets worse and worse. It looks like Dzinski's moving out as well. That stalker's days are numbered there at the old uh, Salnaga <laughs> Watchtower. Is there any uh, medevacs online though? Two medevacs have just been built. They need to join up with that army before it makes any kind of push. It does have stim packs, so it's going to be quite formidable. The, uh, the I don't know. This this could be quite bad for J Hammer if Dzinski moves into him here. Yeah, he's not quite. I he's think it's just got extended, extended thermal lance. lance. He's just yeah. about to finish, so that's going to help him out quite a lot. It looks like he's going to move in, J Hammer. He's got, um, ooh, yeah, he's going for it. Yeah, he's stimmed the light, he's moving in. Some decent force fields there, they've stopped the advance, but he could have maybe have waited until more units, yeah, well, yeah. or maybe a little bit early. He could have waited until more units got there and split the army in half and wiped him out. And maybe yeah, that would true. have been a game ending move then of J Hammer. He's allowed he to, to back off there and lick his wounds. Yeah, he's he has managed to completely avoid losing any of his more valuable units, though, which is a good move because at the moment. Uh, Dzinski is definitely ahead in terms of army value and although the force fields didn't split that army up they just blocked it off it has meant that actually Jayham has come through that relatively unscathed whereas 
he could have actually lost a lot if he'd gone for a full engagement there. Yeah. So if it was an accident, then it was good accident. It looks like it's... he's moving down again now, Dzinski. He's gonna be take. He's gonna prevent the gateway. He's not taking it down, but he's gonna get hit from the side by Colossus. He needs to really he can focus down the Colossus there. He's coming through the side with some Marines and Marauders there, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. That he's was... taking some heavy losses. He is, but he's managed to get rid of both of those Colossus. They both hit the dirt, and that actually that's moved from the side of those Marines. It did cause quite a lot of damage. I think the second Colossus wouldn't have gone down if he hadn't have jumped in with those. Yeah, he needs to get back. He needs to pull right back now, though. I mean, he's not. Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know. You know, he's, the medevac's there supporting him. He look, he's kind of. Yeah, he, he should have pulled back. I was right in the first instance. I think he should have just pulled back. He is going to win. Actually, he might get himself a free Colossus here. So no, he was completely right, and I was totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was that worked out well for Zinsky. I think he lost maybe a little more than he'd have liked to, but he's he's in quite a dominant position now. He definitely needs to keep the pressure. He needs to get his rally points set down the bottom here, and absolutely, he's wiped out this expansion. It's going to come down to whether he can break into the main. I mean, there's not actually that many units. I mean, there's a couple of Stalkers walking in there. There's four Stalkers and a Colossus. It's really looking quite bad now for Jay Hammer. He could do with a jackhammer about now. <laughs> <laughs> Although, Dzinski actually, he looks to be in good shape, but none of those medevacs have really got enough energy, well, they've got no energy, so the stalker can do horrible damage to that group of units before it's taken out. I know, but the uh, the Marines and the Marauders have got 1-1 one, one weapon upgrades, whereas um, Jay Hammer has got no upgrades at all. Oh, yeah. He's only building the Colossus at the moment. It's kind of like, this is his... Uh, I don't know whether he... he the army values are looking quite disgusting, really. Since he's got 3,000 mineral to 1,000 gas against 1,000 mineral and 725 gas. I mean, really? Could Dzinski just attack move up the ramp there and, and finish him off? He's, he's looking like he might be able to. And now with, with Jayhammer being supply locked as well, he can't yeah. build any more units. He's got a lot of money and gas saved up, mineral and gas. But, I mean, he's got double the supply Dzinski has and then some. So... You know, Dzinski, the longer he waits, the bigger and bigger his army he gets, the better his economy gets. I mean, really, Jay Hammer, it, it, it looks quite bleak for Jay Hammer now. I mean, he's still knocking out Colossus, but there's a couple of Vikings down. And I think he's only got the two Vikings. I don't think he's producing any more Vikings. Oh, no, he no. is. He's queued up four more Vikings. So, you know, he's... he's. And also, another point is, Jay Hammer has got quite a lot of minerals stored up there. You know, he could dump down pylons and just get zealots out or get anything down because... I mean, surely, surely he knows what's about to happen. Yeah. I'd, I'd, you know, I'd quite like to see Dzinski do a, a drop with a feint towards the front ramp. I think that would probably... Do Open him up and then just walk up. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. But I think it's kind of overkill. He could yeah. kind of... As long as he gets the Vikings onto the Colossus and takes them down, I mean, it's not... It's he's just going to be a probably, complete whitewash. Yeah, it's, he's going to play it safe, I think, and just draw them out, snipe down the Colossus and just walk in, basically. He yeah. doesn't really need to do any sort of fancy. Oh, he's overextended them Vikings over there. He lost a Viking, which is not too clever. He's backing off into his base as well, Jay Hammer. He's kind of trying to bait him up the ramp to get him at the choke, because that's where his Protoss army will be strongest. He's got his observer above him, so he knows what's going on. Has Jay Hammer noticed that? I don't know. Has he got enough energy for a scan? He does. He could scan that if he's noticed it and take it out. Um, I'm guessing he hasn't. I don't but, but then again, does he really care? <laughs> he, he wants to know by now. He's one. He's two bases up. He's got his, sec, his uh, second expansion down. He's two bases up. He's got. It looks like he's moving in now, Jay Hammer. It looks like he's had enough. It's now or never. He's moving in now. He's kind of not a very clever move, but you know what could he do? His Colossus yeah. is taking grotesque damage off the Vikings. They're going down, and there's the GG. So uh, unlucky to Jay Hammer, and I believe the first win in this uh, Group G goes to uh, the Open University, courtesy of Mr. Dzinski. So check out unitloss.com and subscribe to our channel and keep your eyes peeled for more UTL casts. Catch you next time, people.